Welcome back to the lab. Thursday, it must be the 11th, I guess, because Saturday is the 13th, and we're going to take that little, that, we're going to take that for a burn. Um, haven't used it since September last year, apparently. COVID. Anyway, so uh, we're going to do that. That'll be fun. I'll talk about that in a second. And we'll also, we'll have a look at this Gloria thing here. This bloody thing that's just been chewing up my hoist for the last, it's got to be 18 months now, coming up 18 months. So let's have a yarn about that. Alrighty, so we've had some good news from LVVTA Technical Committee. Basically, this whole thing's had the um, tick in the box from them. They're pretty happy with it. You'll notice no tow bar on the back anymore. And you won't notice because you can't see it. Oh, I suppose if we look really carefully from under here, in the right spot, we might be able to see something. No, you can't. But up in here, there's a couple of bolt heads that won't, or tails that won't be poking through for the centre seat belt. So their concern was um, this suspension here. Ta da! That there. That's all designed for S13, right? And even though this is beefed up S13 stuff, uh, it's considerably stronger than what S13 would normally have from the factory. Um, and it's got S14, I think they are, or maybe even S15 hubs on there, five-star hubs, and GTR brakes. They were concerned that this stuff here was designed for a car that was a lot, well, not a lot, that was lighter than the uh the gloria so that thing there's 14 50 kgs or thereabouts and um sylvia's uh whatever look on the internet and see 1200 or whatever they are something like that maybe a bit more 1300 probably an s13 uh sorry s15 sylvia is probably going to be quite heavy maybe 1400 anyway um not arguing with them not debating the fact but that's that's what they decided was that stuff there that's designed for a lighter car. This is quite heavy. Take a seat belt out so it's four-seater only, not a five-seater. And um, don't tow anything with it. So take the tow bar off, which is really annoying because that thing takes up a bit of space and I keep tripping over it. And there it is there. So I have to find somewhere to put that for the next couple of weeks because low-volume vehicle cert inspection will continue with this beastie in a couple of weeks' time. Hopefully we've got everything lined up and he's going to go, yeah, that's cool. And we get a little tag for it and away it goes. The owner takes it away and um, we'll be good. We can get on with some other things. I do have something planned while we wait for that. But anyway, so round two of NZ Superlap series. That was happening, yeah, let's say two weeks ago or three weeks ago, whatever it was, and I was kicking myself not being there. I don't particularly like Pukekohe, and I haven't made that a secret. I've, I've said that quite honestly. Um, it's really, really bumpy, a lot of concrete kicking around. Don't really like it. But I was still was sitting here at home thinking, I should, this thing here, which is now all clean and shiny, as you can see, this should be on the racetrack, and it wasn't. And I was tempted to put it on trailer and bowl on up there on the Sunday morning and try my luck and see if I could enter. Uh, nine o'clock that night, the government announced we went into another lockdown for a week or whatever it is. Uh, that's mostly sorted out. And the round was split in two, so it's round 2.5, we're calling it. And that is happening on the 13th. And so I've entered that. In fact, I've entered the season. So we'll be running that in round three and round four, subject to COVID, subject to not breaking it, subject to all other things. But that's that's the plan at the moment. So um, I've done a couple of little wee tiny little wee itty bitty tweaks. This I was going to make some new ramps for the trailer, and I measured up the front here, and the clearance here, and I was just sussing out what what the issues are, where it's hitting, and all that. And I realised this corner here was different height to that corner over there. Um, something to do with bashing it into the wall on skid pan, I think. So this has all been, um, that corner of the guard, that's aluminium, not carbon fibre, which is, again, winning here. Um, that's been all taken off, fake carbon fibre stripped off it, cut with the angle grinder, re-welded, get it all in the right position. is quite a fast track. Aerodynamics are relatively important. 
whether the stuff even works or not, who knows, but it looks like it should. So um, just trying to get that stuff right. Now in here, we still have a blue V bottle as our breather for our front diff and our transfer case. I'm sure some people will hate that. Shifted a few wires around, still not the tidiest wiring job in here, but it's it'll do for now for what we're doing. Um, great big massive earth cable has been removed and you can see there's now just an earth tab on there. Much, much easier to deal with and quite a lot of weight taken away there and probably be more reliable too than having a big floppy big cable going from where that battery terminal is around the back of the relays and onto one of those internal wrenching bolts holding that subframe. So that's that done. Uh, there wasn't pretty much nothing else done here. Maybe polish the fuel tank or put some fuel in the tank, something like that. Um, and in the back here, I've I've done some glamorizing. Let's call it glamorizing. Watch that for the camera. Um, our cold air cans. Yeah, paint cans they are. They're not second handies though. They're brand spanking new. Bought specifically to do this. But um, so they're now wrapped in heat resistant gold foil um, hey, if you're going to do something you might as well give it the best chance of working eh? and I, look I fixed the scratches on our blow off valve there they had some scratches so I, I reconditioned that <laughs> doing heaps so that's it um, this will be on the trailer tomorrow night and um, off to Pukekohe and we'll see how we can go now the theory is practice is often different to theory but the theory is that whatever your time is at Hampton Downs take about seven seconds off that and that's what you're going to do at Pukekohe with the big straight which is um which is what we're running so 110.69 at Hampton Downs if theory follows through into practice that's uh, 103.69 maybe I would be quite that brave 104 105 something like that um which is around win but Somebody else might turn up with a faster car and um, and or this car might not work properly or I might not be brave enough. <laughs> so we'll find out. Right, that'll do. Real short video today. So um, I should have some action for you on um, Monday, Tuesday. All right, cheers, boy.